your idea to bring a high delegation, the national treasures to India is apt and extremely important. As you all are aware, both our countries have been victims of terrorism and separatism. While we have been, while we have overcome the challenges to a considerable extent, the phenomenon of cross-border terrorism and ISIS-inspired terrorism continues to pose a threat. Cooperation of the civil society is essential in countering the threat from ISIS-inspired individual terror cells and returnees from theaters like Syria and Afghanistan. The Ulamas play a very important role in Islamic society. The aim of today's discussions is to bring together Indian and Indonesian ulema and scholars who can take forward our cooperation in promoting tolerance, harmony, and peaceful cooperation. This will bolster the fight against violent extremism, terrorism, and radicalization. None of the ends for which extremism, radicalization, and the misuse of religion are employed are justified on any ground. This is a distortion of religion against all of us, which all of us also need to raise our voice effectively. Extremism and terrorism against the very meaning of Islam, because Islam means peace and well-being. Opposition to such forces should not be painted as a confrontation with the enemy religion. 